Hey guys, uh, welcome to another WoW video. And for today, we are gonna finally complete this campaign. So this is chapter seven of Secrets of the First Ones, and this is the final chapter of the campaign. So it is gonna unlock the legendary belt, and hopefully we'll have some good ending cinematic or cutscene or whatnot. Um, I'm very interested to see how they're, you know, ending off this this campaign. So that'll be cool to find out. So uh, let's go. We're starting in Exile's Hollow. That's where our first quest is leading us. You're certain that this is possible. This land is possible. What a new arbiter. To think I will observe something of this magnitude. A symphony of creation needs voices joined in chorus. One we possess, the other we do not. The vessel seeks a soul, one that slumbers in the crypts of the Eternal. Only with both will the Arbiter sing again. The crypts of the Eternal? But that area is overrun by Mossworn. How are we to get past them on our own? We are not alone, Pelagos. Surely the Covenants will aid us toward the creation of a new Arbiter. I will rally the Kyrian. You and Pelago speak to the other Covenants, and see if Barim can enlist the Enlightened. Do you see the patterns? The fractals? Leave me to my thoughts. I doubt my compatriots in heaven would dare tread on such hallowed ground. But fear not. I, as always, have an idea. Kabato, we have need of your assistance. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps you can awaken it, Mortal. Ah, there you are. Meet us near the Eternal Cliffs, Kabato. It is time to fight back against the Morswan. A new Arbiter. A chance to restore balance to the Shadowlands. Okay, well, we got a little travel to do. It looks like they're all gonna be fairly close to each other, though. The gardens are overrun. What adventure do you need me for today? Revendreth stands beside you, Warwalker. To battle! Let us hope your plan works. Revendreth needs anima, and for that, we need souls that deserve redemption. Nadia has a point. But if you ask me, well, I think every soul deserves redemption. I serve the cycle. The might of Ardenweald is yours, Maul Walker. We have always watched over the great cycle. I hope that this new Arbiter will do the same. To 
to watch over the great cycle. The Arbiter's decisions affect more than just souls, but the Shadowlands entire. My blades are at your command. Soldiers! You heard the Maul Walker. We march on the Endless Sands. Let's see if this new Arbiter proves strong enough for the task ahead. Medix is right. The Arbiter must have the strength and resolve to do what must be done. We have discovered a relic that attracts. Something to report? Do not forsake your house. You and Ebony eliminate those oracles. We will prepare for the assault. The wonders of Zareth Mortis are endless. The path is revealed to you. Try using the relic to direct these Otoma. If they listen, they can be used to destroy the Mosworn. Okay, time to do some quests. So, this part was really easy. Um, the stuff on the ground, I stacked them up so you don't have to individually deliver these guys. You can stack them up to the full six, which is what the quest asks you for, and just drop them all off at the same time. With enough atoma, and then these kills, the uh, it was so weird because they're all elites and they, they really didn't feel like elites. So just collect six of these guys. We're grabbing keys to unlock um, the cages. And then there's two, like, mini boss kills in the area. Your cosmos. Shape. Reality. Maldraxxus honors you. I will glean their secrets. The glory climb onto Kabato and ride into battle. The other Atoma will begin their assault. So this part was pretty easy. That one attack is super powerful as you can see. For this next part, we're destroying the bulwarks. Um, this one took me a hot second because you'll notice if you use your regular attacks, like your first two abilities, that it just seems to heal up. Uh, yeah, it took me a second. I actually ended up reading the quest. I know, weird, right? And yeah, use the four on that. That that's how you destroy the ball works and yeah. And it'll look like nothing's happening right at the beginning, but give it a second, it'll destroy. Go. We will hold the line while you explore the crypts. Are we worthy of such knowledge? Can you hear their echoes? Work complete. A soul distorted. The crypts defiled. of wrath and agony where once first breath was drawn now only pain and doors mm -hmm. 
Those must be the spheres. Try pushing them into place. I'm actually impressed that I have Pokepock out because I always forget to summon him. I don't know if you guys do. Uh, probably not because, you know, because <laughs> you probably love your pet and, you know, always make sure he's out. I, on the other hand, forget about him all the time. So, yeah. These souls can be used to create the Arbiter, but can we they become other things as well? You. The only reason I even remembered to summon him, like, during this, is because during that first quest, uh, just before all this, there was the companions that you were delivering that look exactly like Pokepok. So, that, that kind of made me be like, oh, do I have Pokepok out? I better summon him. <laughs> for you this was expected the hour approaches Summon the Squires. I will glean their secrets. Work complete. We shall soon witness the purpose of these sacred halls. I can scarcely believe it. Interfering with the ritual. Waited this moment. The banished one's gambit made manifest. A world soul twisted by death. A maw with which to crush the arbiter. And now it shall take this vessel. Argus will be eternal. Argus draws energy from that soul conduit. Mawwalker, you must destroy it. So, for whatever reason, these conduits felt really tough. Um, yeah, they took a bit to take down, ironically. I, th I thought they'd be like three hits and down. Yeah. But overall, I really liked this part of the campaign. It was cool to see Argus in it. I was always one of those that thought that the end should have been the end of Legion. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if you're struggling on this, which you shouldn't, uh, this whole campaign was pretty easy. But if you are, um, conduits have to go down. Yeah. Conduits first, him second. What is she talking about? We don't need riddles. We need answers. What's our next plan, Morwalker? There must be another answer. Work 
complete. Ma Walker, friend, do not blame yourself. I just wish there were some way. There is a way. Pelagos, what do you mean? In service to the Shadowlands, I offer my soul. What? No! I have yet to ascend, Clea. Perhaps there was a reason for it. But your soul! You do not have to do this. I know. This is my choice, sister. My purpose. I do not want to let you go. Our souls are bound as one. We will never be apart. A new voice freely offer. A worthy soul, pure and unburdened. Pelagos? Is it... Is it still... you? Yes, Clea. I am whom I have always been. And yet... so much more. My path has become clear. I must take my place in Oribos. Go... in service. Brother of my heart, we will meet you there. Farewell, my friends. The pattern is made whole. We return and continue. Okay, so one, did he just call Oribos or Rebos? Have I been saying Oribos wrong this whole time? <laughs> Is it Ori? Like Oreo? <laughs> Anywho, that was a pretty good little cinematic there. I thought it was pretty touching, actually. And also, I'm impressed that they put out a portal for us to get back. I totally thought they were gonna make us run back. And I'd just like to say... They always give me shoulders. I've, I've mentioned that before too, but for whatever reason, so many of the yeah, rewards sure. have what been shoulders. Mean, and my shoulders are my legendary, so I like never take those rewards. So that item I'll get either vendored or disenchanted. It, it really depends. Um, if I have lots of disenchant mats, then I'll usually just take the gold for the gear, but... You know, yeah, it really just depends on how my inventory is looking. Anyway, back to Oribos. What news do you bring? Your path were complete. And tell Adrestes I am sorry I could not become an acolyte. Somehow, I think he will understand. Mawwalker, my friend, without you, I may never have found my path. Now I can direct the flow of souls to the afterlives they justly deserve. Yet one goal remains before us. To truly restore balance to the Shadowlands, 
The Jailer must be defeated. I have faith that the Maw Walker and their allies will succeed. Go in service, friends. Oribos and all the Shadowlands are counting on you. I find it kind of interesting to not have had this chapter before the raid comes out because he makes the comment of now we need to fight the jailer and beat him. Well, a lot of guilds have done that already. <laughs> right? So, so yeah, I just find it quite interesting that they wouldn't have unlocked this chapter for us prior to being able to fight the Jailer. Yeah. And yes, it's so typical that my inventory would be full. Yeah. So that's a one less a lightless silk in the world because <laughs> that is what we're gonna trash for it. We shall fight for all we believe in. So that's the end of the campaign, but I was really curious what the safe haven was, so I went there. Nothing important, guys. The hand in is just gold. Yeah. But I thought something cool might have been involved with it, but yeah, just gold. So for those that care about transmogs, this is what the belt looks like. I actually like the way this belt looks. It just doesn't suit my current transmog on my druid. My druid rolls with this black and red. I've been really liking this vibe for a long time. So anyway, that concludes the video. I am happy to have this campaign done now. Uh, overall, mm, it was kind of blah, but I did think there were some cool cutscenes and stuff in it. Um, there was some okay storylines, but yeah, for for a final campaign of the expansion, I can't say I'm too terribly impressed, but you know, it is what it is, right? So I hope you enjoyed. Have fun doing the campaign or catching up on stuff for the end of the expansion and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.